Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. First of all, I wanted to pull a string on just real quickly on this hybrid cloud approach because sure, that's absolutely. clearly our strategy, and that's why we're doing both on and off-prem. But this is going to be a multi-vendor environment, right? So we're looking at cloud orchestration capabilities, mm -hmm. uh, some type of an enterprise system where we can touch multiple vendors in an agnostic way to do that. But I wouldn't want to point to a specific program necessarily. What I'd like to say is the convergence of all the lessons learned that we have received out of the pilots, wow. both from an infrastructure as a service as well as software as a service, has really changed a lot of people's minds. And so, you know, for the last several years, the big discussion has been about the, the culture and, and people, the server huggers. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have some of those, but, uh, mm -hmm. but, but, but what you're starting to see right now across the entire Army, both at the senior leadership and at the lower levels, is, mm -hmm. is that cloud is a great thing. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. Okay. Within our trader, trade doc, uh, Trading and Doctrine Command, the instructors, uh, they are looking at doing away with their current infrastructure, the ideas of procure um, and, and, and set up and test and all uh -huh. that into a laboratory environment so that uh, as students want to go in and deploy uh, VMs or into, into the cloud, they can do that on the cloud. Uh, and they don't have to go and procure all their own stuff. And so they can do the evaluation of the student, all the testing, et cetera, and then they can spin it back down and save a considerable amount of cost doing that. Uh, so those training labs, are, uh, research and development, uh, even our development community now is saying, look, it takes a long time to procure something. It right. takes a long time to get it set up and all that. We really want to be able to deliver more rapid, innovative capabilities. Mm -hmm. And so let's use the cloud now as the infrastructure, sure. which I can get relatively quickly. Sure. Wait and, for the and next start generation of uh, uh, employees enters the workforce. They're going to want an app for everything. They're going to they're going to think it's like you know, like my iPhone. You know, just I just grab an app somewhere. Well, because of the elastic <clears throat> computing, people are starting to understand that even from a modeling and simulation and doing advanced computing capabilities, uh, mm -hmm. we're looking at doing that uh, across the Army, and I got people just beating down my door saying, when can I go, when can right. I go? And I looked at my buddy John over here to my <laughs> left, and I say, when can I go, John, when can I go? That's why and we so, put you together, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, but we're working hard to, to do that. But, but again, I think the convergence of all those lessons learned is really starting to change the cultural view within the Army uh, that, that, that we don't have to own everything. Excellent.